Welcome back, I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, and we're continuing on with our multiplayer unit tips and faction recommendations, and we are currently working on the Adeptus Sororitas, so the next unit we'll discuss is the Hospitaller. If you've been watching my uh, tips and playthroughs with the other HQ uh, units, you pretty much know what I have to say about the Hospitaller. She's an amazing support unit, and at 125, she's a total steal. Um, so definitely, if you're going to be bringing a heavy infantry force with the Adeptus Sororitas, which most people are, you're going to want to bring some Hospitallers, 100%. Uh, but before I go much further, if you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. So the Hospitaller, at 125 points, she has 200 health, so she can definitely easily be sniped, but not as easily as the Sister Superior. She's got 2 AP, as all HQ commanders do, 4 movement, 5 armor, and 15 evasion. Now, even though it says she's got 5 armor, it certainly seems like she gets herself blown up very easily. So you got to be very, very careful with her, because she's a pure support class. Um, I do wish her bolt pistol would get a little bit of a buff, because uh, she can barely hit anything with that. Um, I don't know why certain weapons just seem to be like they've been nerfed into oblivion, but uh, you know, I wish it was definitely much stronger, because she should be able to do at least a little bit of damage. I mean, I don't want her nuking and being used as a you know range unit, but she should be able to defend herself. And while you're like, well, it does. 8 attacks, 3 to 4, with an armor piercing 1. So other than the most, like, uh, unarmored Hormagant, Tormagant, she's not going to be able to do enough damage to anything else. So I really think they need to increase her armor piercing here. Uh, for, I mean, it's a bolt pistol, for Christ's sake. Um, and so she can have a little bit of defense. I mean, even a single bolt pistol like that, um, you know, if you reduce the amount of attack she has, if you're worried about her getting too much, but... You know, she can't even kill anything with an armor piercing of one. So I really wish she would be buffed because it's like, why even bother giving her an attack? Because, you know, I think you could see on that other match where I was trying to shoot somebody in the back. Um, I think she did like four damage or something like that. So it's like, what is even the point of uh, doing that? So I definitely wish they would buff that. But uh, for all of her bases here, the big thing that she has is she's our, your healer, right? So she does have Medicus, so that removes all negative effects. So poison gets removed, any sort of debuffs that are on your units. I would assume she'd be able to remove like the Weird Boy Blindness uh, if it's put on an infantry unit. And she's able to heal all models in a squad for 50 health each. And her other really nice ability is the Rites of Intercession. What this does is it immediately adds one EP to one of your units. Now, they took it away from walkers, uh, vehicles, and arcoflagellants. Uh, originally, when the arcoflagellants were released, they were way too powerful, and with all their evasion and everything, they were like nearly impossible to kill. Uh, but I think they could code it so the arcoflagellants could benefit from the rights of intercession, because they've actually nerfed the uh, arcoflagellants so much into the ground that nobody even uses them anymore. I was doing some strategic command maps with them, just uh, play around a little bit, and it's nice that they can move around, but yeah, they definitely got nerfed into the ground. Um, so I think you could definitely code this so the rights of intercession work on them, but I agree that they shouldn't be able to use it on the walkers or the vehicles, because that would just be way too overpowered. But not only does it just give you an AP, it uh, also gives you 10% bonus HP to those units, and it, this lasts for two turns. So you give, you know, 10% bonus HP with her. You use your cannonist and you use the Inglorious Incantation and now all of a sudden you've got a 10% damage debuff and another 10% HP here. So now you're up to 20 with negative 10 damage. Oh wait, you got our Sister Superior here. Well maybe we want to go ahead and give uh, you know, the Litany of Devotion as well. So now you've got uh, what was it? 20? So this is 10 and I think I, the other one was 10 too. Was it 10 or 15? 10, yeah, so 20. And now all of a sudden you throw this on there. Now you've got 35 bonus HP. Uh, now the nice thing about this is you can put it on vehicles and things too. Uh, same with the Inglorious Incantation but uh, her bonus HP does not go on vehicles. So hers can't go onto there, but in terms of putting them on infantry, so you know, you're know you dropping them on, let's say your Celestian Sanker Saints, which are going to be um, you know, your main tanks in this, 
or you're going to drop them all on your cannoness if she's about to go into combat because uh, she is just a total beast and with all those buffs on her now you know she's stacking people are hitting her so she's getting uh, momentum because she's getting damaged then her evasions going up uh, they just can't seem to kill her and they're getting her into melee and she's smacking back uh, taking less damage you know she's got the debuff uh, the less damage here for 10% plus uh, you know the Rosaria so now she's getting 25% less damage things just get out of control when you really start to stack these buffs on these units and again that is one of the main things with the sisters is you want to stack your buffs and in fact all their command points are all buffs uh, to their units as well so all these things can stack um, you just can't put the same things on guys uh, multiple times so you know you can't use multiple uh, rights to uh, stack you know 20 bonus HP for two turns there um, so you got to be a little bit careful with that um, but you can do some sick shit for sure so all right well let's set up a uh, match up here and show you kind of how they can work but definitely a fun unit. And let's see, we did Necrons last time, so I guess we're gonna do a mirror match, Adeptus Sororitas versus Adeptus Sororitas. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just load them into the emulator. For Catherine, for eternity. <laughs> With haste, I walk in his light. Yes. Heretics surround us, but not the heretic. I am his iron will. Uh, yeah, let's put you back here. Who needs my aid? In Catherine's footsteps. Moving into position. The unclean shall burn. For Catherine, for eternity. Right, pop you down here. What is your command? Now, it will be done. I don't want you to do that. I want you to come here. Do a little bit of these. Yeah. Come near me and the Emperor will smite you. Well, looks like they've been buffing themselves already. Your heresy only lends me the strength so that I might kill you. Well, they must have, uh... Heavy weapons ready. We move to execute Some different characters team. back here, huh? Alright, well, let's move you up here, and we'll flame through these guys so we can get past their evasion. Um, who do I want to get to kill? I guess is the next question. I walk in his light. Probably you, so you can just uh, try to get the uh, bonus AP. Nope, fail. I am his iron Bring will. you up to here. You can come here, and now uh, you can flame through these guys. Fortunately, she can only go to here. But what I could do is bring you to here, do this, for Catherine, for you come time. here, you come here, the Emperor's light you come burns. there. You can come up this way. 
Use your buff here. You can come here. Yes. Who needs my aid? I am his iron will. Standing by. Let you shoot into these guys. Bring you up to here. Let you start smoking here. Bad thing is there's a lot of Repentia here. Which will definitely mess us up. So I think I'd rather take away their AP. Get you up here. Same thing, we'll bring you up here. Nerf those Repentia so they can't attack. You can come up here. I was planning on doing some healing. Bring you to here. Get you your extra shots. Good. She's down. With haste. Bring you up here. See, I wanted to heal these guys. The road of righteousness is soaked in the blood of the Because all he's going to do here is probably thump you with a grenade. So maybe I'll try to bring you in close so hopefully he can't just grenade you and get the kill. We'll bring you to I here. Serve him. With a gracious heart. Oh, he's got a heavy flamer over there. I didn't see that. Alright, well. Let's run you here. Flame these guys through because I need those Repentia to die. You can come here. Same thing. We need those Repentia to die. Kind of hate to waste one of those attacks there. Um, I could get you all the way over to here, but I think... I'd rather have you work on these retributors. Moving into position. Yes. For Catherine, for eternity. All right, let's get you up to here. Get you up to here. Who needs my aid? you to there. The Let's get that going. I am his iron will. We're gonna bring you to the side here so she doesn't hit you back. Oh. She got the old trickaroo on me there. command It will be done. Who tests my conviction? Bring you down to here, smack there. Bring you up a little bit. As he wills it, so it shall be. 
See, they're going to smack you back, which I don't want to happen. So let's let them start working on those sisters here. Heavy weapons ready. And we'll bring you guys down too, I guess. Yes. With haste. Something like that. Oh, who has? Yeah, I guess that's fine. What is your command? I stand ready. For Catherine, for eternity. Alright, he's turned that way, really? His iron will. Ah, the AI does such weird things. My blade will eat out his mighty judgment. We cannot be stopped! Attack here, I guess. Come over this way. Blame those guys. I walk in his light. You can come here, flame these guys. For eternity. Bring you up to here. Start slicing through these guys. None can harm me whilst I walk with the Emperor. Fire and fury. Who needs my aid? Alright, flame these guys. And you can start smoking these guys down. Extra AP. Alright, well, I will upload what the empowered abilities are for the medic. And if you wanted to empower these guys. Uh, you get the Medicus, which uh, removes all negative status effects and it gives you plus 70 health per turn. And it lasts for two turns, so that's pretty nice. And if you were to empower uh, the rights of intercession, it adds 1 AP to an ally unit, excluding vehicles, walkers, and arcoflagellants within two tiles. And it gives you plus 30 bonus HP that expires in two turns. And it has a cooldown of one turn. So does that mean that it would give you an extra AP for two different turns? I assume that AP is only for one turn and the bonus HP is what expires in two turns. Otherwise that would be way too powerful. Yeah, that's how that works. So you just get one AP the first turn and then the bonus HP sticks around. Because here... But as you can see, she's a great support unit. Gives extra AP, gives bonus HP... Uh, can move around. The only thing she can't do is any sort of real damage. So again, I really think she just needs to get a minor buff. Just increase that bolt pistol armor piercing to three, and I think she would be fine. Um, you know, that would at least let her to be able to defend herself. I mean, she's a uh, battle sister. Is like it's not just she's a healer. She went through all sorts of combat training and things like that. She should be able to do some basic damage uh, to be able to defend herself. But that armor piercing one just makes her completely insignificant. And as the cooldown on her abilities, other than the heal being every turn, uh, she'll always have an extra AP. So it'd be nice if you know she could at least do something for you, um, even with that boost to her AP. It's not like she's going to be this major damage dealer. I mean, you can even reduce the amount of damage that the pistol does if you're thinking the AP is going to make her dish out too much, but I, I think she just needs to get a little bit of a buff here. So, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe because we post more content for you. Have a great day.